Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching Vector Art. So in today's video, we will take a look at a UI component suite for WinForms that is called SyncFusion. So SyncFusion uh, provides um, essential UI tools uh, for Windows Forms and it is a comprehensive collection of over 100 plus essential Windows Forms controls like grid, charts, diagram, scheduler, tools for building powerful line of business applications faster. Syncfusion uh, Forms Control provide unparalleled performance, stunning beautiful built-in themes, touch-friendly UI, localization, and seamless integration with Visual Studio. So without any further ado, let's get started. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So uh, first things first is to go to Google and search for Syncfusion and click on this first link which will take you to the website uh, and here it gives uh, you a brief uh, description on what Syncfusion is, what, uh, uh, what are the trusted leading companies that support this and what are the um, popular components of Syncfusion. So uh, what we are interested in today is the product that will support uh, it also supports various platforms for example web mobile desktop and so on so we will be interested in desktop and win forms so here you can see we have 95 plus uh, windows forms ui controls and uh, these are some of the uh, crucial or important ones so we will be look taking a look on how to install sync fusion in today's video and try out some of the uh, controls of Syncfusion. So let's start uh, Visual Studio. Before uh, we start Visual Studio, we will have to create an account. I will tell you why, uh, because um, uh, that is the, the licensing. Syncfusion is a licensed software and you can try this by using the try it for free option over here and if you like it then you can obviously uh, purchase the license from Syncfusion. So I will go ahead and click on try it for free. Uh, doing so it will uh, ask you what platform that you would like to try it this free trial for. I will go to desktop and select win forms. After you do this you will have to sign in with your uh, uh, credentials or uh, provide your create an account or you can sign in with uh, your Google account or a Microsoft account. I will go with uh, sign in with Google. So uh, once you click on sign in, it will give you a form where you will have to provide all the necessary details on why you want to use this trial what is the purpose of using this trial and if you are individual or if you are a company and so on once you submit your application uh, the team uh, from Syncfusion will reach out to you via email and provide you the license and the steps to claim the license for free i have already uh, claimed my license and you can see the license key uh, to be used inside this option over here under license and downloads uh, there are other uh, features here on this dashboard to manage your trial purchase and renewal support if you need anything uh, and then your account so i will not go into this detail over here uh, but i will tell you how to use that license to uh, install syncfusion or use syncfusion so now that uh, this thing is clear um, let's go to visual studio and create a new project Let's select Windows Forms application. I am selecting it from a recent templates. You can also select from here. Uh, let's say desktop and here you have Windows Forms application.net framework. So let me select next. And give this project a name. and hit the create button. So now that our project is loaded, let's install Syncfusion using NuGet packages. So you can install the uh, NuGet package using the package manager UI, or you can use the manage NuGet package uh, 
option or you can use the dotnet cli option so i will go with the um, nuget package manager uh, ui option and uh, that is uh, that is what i feel is uh, easier option for me so let's go to tools but you can explore the other options uh, from my uh, blog which is in the description so let me go here under tools you can go to nuget package manager and manage nuget package for solution you can also choose this uh, package manager console where you'll have to type the command also there is one more option the if you do not find it under tools you can go to solution and you can right click uh, your project and then you can go to manage to get packages so you select that and then the manage nuget package window will open we'll have to navigate to the browse tab and then search here for sync fusion uh, wind forms and then uh, we scroll down and there you will find sync fusion tools wind forms so this selecting this tool uh, will uh, select all the uh, dependent uh, packages and install them so let's select this and on the right hand side panel uh, it will provide you the uh, information about this and the latest version uh, stable version uh, if, if this uh, any of the version does not work you can select the appropriate version from for your application and then install it by default the package selected with the latest version uh, you, and then the package will be added once you click on the install button so here you can see these are the dependent uh, packages that will be installed along with these tools uh, package uh, so let's wait for the package to be installed and you can see that um, the package is successfully installed uh, so let's uh, close this and see if the tool is populated here in the toolbox let's wait for the toolbox to get ready okay so the tools are not visible here um, sometimes this happens but now you can see that uh, the tools are here if you do not see them you can reset your toolbox and the tools will appear so let's try uh, uh, one of the tool over here let's say if you want to use the clock tool I'll just drag and drop this control and here you can see we have so so many controls over here 100 plus controls and uh, the all these controls are documented nicely in the sync fusion websites which will will take care of or I mean which will look at it uh, soon so this is the clock tool let's say and let's start run this and when you run this you will see that it will ask you for a license so let's see how we can generate sync fusion windows forms license key So as I said, uh, it is asking us to claim the license key, which I have already done and which is there under, if you go to the dashboard, here under the claim license, you have the license key. And I am not going to show or display the license key because it is uh, something uh, that you should use your own and not to be shared. Uh, so uh, you will go there and you will have to copy the license key from there. And the license key will look something um, like this where it will show you the version of your license key and the license key itself so you can click on the copy clip uh, to clipboard button and copy the license key so next uh, step is to register the 
register the sync fusion license in your windows forms application so to do that uh, you will have to go to the solution explorer and under programs uh, sorry uh, you can click on the program.cs uh, file and under the main you will have to write a piece of code to register the license so let's do that so all you have to do is use sync fusion dot licensing dot sync fusion license provider dot register license and inside the brackets you'll have to provide your license key uh, and close this tag. So I will copy my license key and paste it over here. And let's run the application once again. Okay, so I have uh, finished pasting my license key there and let me run the application once again. And now you see that we do not get that error and you can see the clock app is running as expected. So let's see uh, what are the other tools that um, Sync Fusion provides. So let me go back to the window over here and under uh, learning and support, let's go to documentation. And there uh, you have the documentation for all the platforms that uh, Sync Fusion uh, provides. And here under desktop, we have WinForms. And let's click on it. And uh, then if you scroll down over here, uh, it has all the controls that uh, Sync Fusion provides. So let's uh, see what this autocomplete uh, control will offer so let's click on autocomplete and go to the get started option over here and uh, it tells you how to add this uh, control to the designer so let's do that so let's go back to our window let's delete this control and um, add uh, to add the autocomplete control as per the documentation and then Next, uh, we will add a text box on the screen. And next, we'll go to the properties of this text box. And under properties, we will enable the auto complete on uh, auto complete one property. and we'll say auto suggest next uh, we will need a data source uh, for this auto complete to work so let's go to the code behind and under forms we after the initialize component we can add this piece of code which will create a data table uh, which will add two columns country and capital and then it will create a data set and add this uh, data table with these rows with the country and capital information and uh, finally it will add that data source uh, to our autocomplete uh, control so let's save this and uh, in real in and an actual scenario in your project, you will be loading all this uh, into the autocomplete from your database uh, from SQL or any other provider. So let me run this. And when I type U, you can see that uh, it auto completes the data and provides you with the suggestions. So that was for the auto complete. Uh, so likewise, you have uh, several other controls over here, which you can take a look at. For example, the calculator or the data grid, which is very widely, widely used and that you can find over here. 
and if you see uh, it has a comprehensive documentation on it and also a video where you can uh, learn how to use the data grid uh, of sync fusion so it also talks about um, the code and some da sample data to add to your data grid so uh, that was all for uh, adding sync fusion to your winforms application hope you all liked watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel uh, i will come up with a new video on how to add sync fusion to your wpf application in the next one till then bye bye